What's going on, Print Fam? Welcome to the Print Life's Quick Tip Video Series. Today, I'm going to be sharing seven quick screen printing tips to help you improve your shop's efficiency. Let's get started, baby. One of the best tips we have for printing a smooth, clean, white underbase, or just a white print in general, is getting lower micron screens. Now, what that is is essentially a thinner diameter thread that makes up the mesh in your screens. The benefit to this is that you can use a higher opacity ink. The ink passes through the mesh easier, allowing you to use less pressure on the print which then makes the plastisol sit on top of the garment, which then produces a smoother print with less fibrillation. Just start out with three, four, maybe six of them, and then use them exclusively for your underbase and white plastisol prints. This next tip I wasn't even gonna share with you because it's just so good. But considering the nature of the print life and the print community, I'm gonna share it with you today. As any screen printer knows, taping and retaping and untaping your screens is a pain in the butt. But lucky for you and me, I found a solution in the form of liquid screen tape. Liquid tape is essentially a permanent mesh blocker. It almost completely eliminates the need for tape on the inside of the screen during production. Simply mix up a batch of the NASDAR liquid tape, brush it around the outer edge of your screen, just like this. Let it dry, and then coat the screen with a scoop coater, just like you normally do. There you go. This one tip will speed your setup times and your teardown times by as much as 20%. I totally just made up that number, but it'll save you a lot of time. You're welcome. A common frustration for screen printers is pinholes, but I have a solution. This is the film we're gonna be burning onto the screen. And these are my simulated pinholes. A very efficient way to patch up them pinholes is just using a little bit of emulsion in a condiment squeeze bottle. Put a little bit on our finger and dab at the pinholes. If you really need to dive into a very small pinhole, you can always use a paintbrush. The benefit to this is that if you patch the holes while the screen's still wet, you can post harden it just like your regular emulsion uh, and it'll hold up better during long production runs. And using emulsion instead of tape makes the reclaiming process a heck of a lot easier. This next hack is useful for someone that does water-based printing like for half of their jobs. You're gonna expose your screen, then grab the Chroma Set Emulsion Hardener, and while the screen is still wet, squeeze it out onto the emulsion. All right, now I'm gonna take it back to the washout booth, and I'm just gonna rinse that hardener off of the screen. Now, to make your screen stencil even more waterproof, you can do a couple of things. One, you can let it dry in the sun, and the UV rays will quickly dry the screen and it'll also post harden that emulsion. Uh, if you don't want to go outside, you can let your screens dry and then before you go into production, post harden it on the exposure unit. Either one of those methods will make the emulsion extremely waterproof uh, and the best part is you don't have to have any special type of emulsion and it'll usually hold up for up to 500 pieces. If you're a screen printer, you've been there before. You expose your screen, you set it up on the press, you spend all that time registering it, and then you go to print only to realize that there is some hardened emulsion right in the middle of your open mesh. Now you gotta reset the thing up, right? Well, not if you use a spot gun. Uh, you gotta learn how to aim the thing, but once you can aim it, point it at the opening in the mesh and hit that hard to get emulsion spot. Bada bing, bada boom. This next tip is especially useful when you're doing a water-based or discharge print run. You're gonna load your shirt like you normally do. But before you lay down your print, 
you want to grab a lint roller and just do a quick pass over the surface of that t-shirt. At first glance, this may seem like overkill, but anyone who's printed water-based with any kind of frequency knows how irritating that lint pickup can be in the open areas of your screen. By taking just a few extra seconds and lint rolling that garment before you do the print, you'll save yourself tons of time and misprinted garments because of lint pickup. And last, but certainly not least, is that smooth white plastisol print. Here's how to get it. First thing you gotta do is grab a blank, unexposed screen. Now, you're gonna load it into your press and just throw some kind of ink in there. We use our Wilflex Flow Base. Chuck a squeegee into the screen. The secret to this working out is using silicone spray on the bottom of the unexposed screen. Just spray the heck out of it. Then use your hand and just kind of smear that silicone spray all around on the bottom of the mesh. This prevents the screen from sticking to the flashed print. Load a shirt, do a print, flash the print, and as soon as you're done flashing that print, bring it back around, lower the unexposed screen onto the print, and do a push stroke. Do a couple of push strokes using a lot of downward force to flatten the living crap out of that image. And that's it. You got a high fashion plastisol white ready for the runway. All right, print fam, that's a wrap on our seven screen printing hacks. If you liked this video, leave a nice comment share it like it subscribe and of course ding the bell so that you're notified when i do another upload by the way i'm uploading daily just thought i'd put that out there that's it for me see you next time print fam peace out yeah.